Good evening one and all, it's once again Ted the Speed Learner and I am here to declare the winner of the Video Response Force contest. Uh, I'm sorry to say that Boyd the Clown was not in our contest this week, mainly because he was probably out at the Decatur Celebration. I know I was there, I videotaped the entire celebration from front to back and I posted it up on YouTube and I've got it all on a playlist now. Uh, so since Boyd the Clown didn't participate and neither did anybody else, I am declaring myself the winner this week and I look forward to Boyd the Clown coming up and putting some more stuff up next week. So having said all of that, um, a lot of you people were asking, you saw the beginning of the Decatur Celebration Parade footage and you were asking what happened to the Euclid Proof. There it is. Yeah, it's a lot harder than I thought it was going to be, and it's going to take time for me to figure out what's going on to make it work the way I need it to for you guys. I ran into a snag in calculus. I am still trying to learn how to pronounce Spanish. I can read and write it pretty good now. It's just the speaking part that gets to be a little complicated. Anybody who's watched my Italian videos knows that I stutter. So, therefore, um, stuttering and Spanish does not necessarily mix too good. Uh, let's see. I did start teaching the multi-step income statement in accounting. Uh, I will continue that discussion just as soon as I learn. See, remember, when I, when I present this material, it's stuff that I have already learned. And so it takes me time to learn it and then find a way to present it to you. Uh, it's just like the periodic table. We got these words like molybdium and yttrium. Yeah, yttrium and molybdenum. Those are hard to pronounce. So I'm trying to learn how to pronounce those so I can give you the lesson that I need to do. The memory techniques are already set up. I just got to learn how to pronounce these words and then boom, I'll present that as well. I thought about doing a couple of Italian lessons tonight. It's just getting late and uh, I got to work all day tomorrow. So no, we're not doing that. Anyway, um really not much else that's going on um, just trying to keep my sanity that kind of thing I've been really kind of tired and uh, well I was kind of wore out from yesterday's parade and then I went posted up two Italian lessons and a, and a uh, lesson in accounting boy that really took everything out of me and so there you go um, not much else to say at this point I will tell you this. I will tell you this. If you're working in retail, retail is a great starting job. But it, but if you're going to try to make a career out of career out of it, you either need to become a manager or just simply get out. Because you will probably be able to sustain yourself with the job, but you will not necessarily be able to sustain a spouse. And it has nothing to do with retail. The retail is not at fault at this. The economy is just pretty much tanked, and they just simply cannot afford to give you the kind of salary it would take to support, support a spouse. So um, my suggestion to you is to watch my videos, learn some new skills, get yourself a higher paying job, then go try to find a spouse. Uh, because if you don't, well, you know, uh, that's something I'm working on now and hopefully one of these days I will earn a higher income, so on and so forth, and there you go. All right. Not really much else to say at this point. Uh, it is getting to be fall season. Anybody that needs to get their flu shots needs to start thinking about that now. Um, you got You got to pay for it, that kind of thing. So uh, get your appointments ready. Get yourself all paid up in the whole nine yards, and then go out and do it. All righty. Um, like I said, really not much else to say at this point. Just trying to keep my sanity here. Anyway, I know I kind of fall silent on stuff like this, and really I shouldn't. Well, uh, as this could be coming back to school, I look forward to hearing from everybody. I still am on TeacherTube. One of the things I was not able to say on the Decatur Celebration Parade footage was that I have now been with YouTube for two and a half years. And I have been with TeacherTube for two years, so ta-da! I made it. 
I will take a look at a couple of things. I will say that my parade footage was viewed 54 times. I am grateful for everybody who viewed it. I was kind of hoping for more, but I'll take this for now. Uh, another thing I will tell you is... My SD RAM video has been viewed now 5,600 times. Uh, my Mubavi video converter video has now been viewed 5,293 times. So, yeah, things are really changing on that. Uh, I've got one video that's approaching its 4,000th view. Uh, another video that's approaching its 3,000th view. That tells me that there are people that are actually watching me. And that's great. That's wonderful. Wish I could tell you more, but I just don't have any more to tell you at this point. So, I will say, keep watching my videos, and I will say more. Stay tuned.